Neil McAvoy, Member of the Welsh Parliament for South Wales Central and leader of the brand new political party in Wales, Propel. Well, the witch hunt continues. The BBC will be publishing a leaked report about me. The fact that the report is leaked tells you everything you need to know about the people who have leaked it. The report is supposedly confidential and the process has not yet finished. So I'm not actually being found guilty, but the BBC are, are publishing the allegations as, as fact. The report which the BBC has published is wildly inaccurate. But let me tell you some things that the BBC have not published. Vicky Howells, the chair of the Labour group in the Senedd, was found guilty of using Senedd resource for party political purposes. The reason I know that they were holding party political meetings was because I, I was the complainant. Because a whistleblower came to me and they gave me the minutes of the, the Labour group where the General Secretary of the Labour Party in Wales was coming to the Senedd and planning the general election campaign. There was an investigation and Vicky Howells was found guilty of using Senedd resource for party political purposes. But the Standards Committee in the Senedd decided to do nothing about it. And the media did not report it. If you want to see the report, I'll put a link to it in the description. It was also alleged by the whistleblower that the staff of members of the Senedd were working for the Labour Party during the election campaign. And this was investigated and apparently lots of the staff did work during the election, but they all took unpaid leave. So I'll, uh, I'll leave you guys out there to, to make your mind up about that one. Similarly, Di Lloyd, the chair of the Plaid Group in the Senedd, was also found guilty of misusing Senedd resource. There was a Plaid Senedd group meeting and they invited their members of parliament down from London to go into the Senedd to discuss the, the election, how it went, look at figures and discuss future political strategy. Again, you're not supposed to do that on, on Senedd premises. Once again, the report went to the Senedd Standards Committee and they decided to take no action. Even though it went through the Senedd, the media did not report on it. So there are two breaches there by the chairs of the, the Plaid group, the chair of the Labour group. It goes through the Senedd. They're guilty. There is no punishment. They, 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 they want, nothing at all. No admonishment. Nothing. And the media out there said nothing. Let's move on to the complaint made about me now, because I was accused of using my then assembly office to promote Plaid Cymru. I was a Plaid Cymru AM at the time, and the complaints were made by Plaid Cymru members about me promoting Plaid Cymru whilst there was a Plaid Cymru AM. Anyway, I was accused of having a folding machine in the office. Uh, I did, and it's still there. Shock horror, I fold letters as being a member of the Senedd. I was accused of using electricity for party political purposes. I'm also accused of using the Senedd's internet for party political purposes. Well, that applies to every single person in the building. I'm also accused of having carried out £70 worth of printing. Now, there was a, a four-year investigation into that. They looked through all my emails, they looked through all my text messages, my WhatsApp messages to all my staff. They even uh, looked at all emails I had deleted over a 12 month period. And they found nothing, nothing at all. And there's no evidence whatsoever to substantiate the 70 pounds, none. Only allegation from a member of staff who in the report, and this is the only accurate thing in the report, the member of staff was said to be unreliable and seeking revenge because I sacked him. The investigation into me was carried out by the former Standards Commissioner who had to resign. When the investigation first started, the former Commissioner sat down with a hostile witness, discussed the whole case and no notes were made whatsoever. So I wasn't told what they discussed and they'd known each other for a long time, for decades. 
in fact. In the first hearing, when I was out of the room, on the official recording, the former Standards Commissioner made a highly derogatory comment about me to the complainant and also to his members of staff at the very beginning. So what I decided to do, I realised what was happening. I did not think I was being treated fairly. So what I did was make secret recordings of the former Standards Commissioner and his staff before the hearing started, during the lunch hour and, and afterwards. Basically, I just left my phone on while I was out of the room. And there was some pretty shocking stuff on, on the recordings. Highly derogatory comments about me, derogatory comments about other members of the, the Senev. There was an assumption of guilt, of, of my guilt. And the whole thrust of everything seemed to be how to find me guilty. I recorded staff discussing, trying to make sure I, I didn't get a fair, fair appeal before I made any, any appeal. They were asking the complainant which, uh, which questions should be asked. And it, it seemed to me that there was um, a team approach between the former Standards Commissioner, his staff and, and the complainant. They compared me to a, a species of, of animal. I put together a report of the recordings and I sent it through to the Deputy Presiding Officer. And very shortly afterwards, the former Standards Commissioner, who was a High Court judge, resigned. I then made a complaint to the, the police about the contents of the recordings and they decided to, to investigate. And that process has still not finished. Yet, the now Acting Standards Commissioner has produced a report, it's been leaked to the press, and here I am doing yet another video. So th these people behind the scenes in the Senev, these people, the shadowy people in, in Welsh public life, are not gonna wait to see whether or not I'm found guilty. They're gonna try and convict me in the court of public opinion, ably helped by the BBC. You guys out there, you know what's going on. And it doesn't matter what mud the Welsh establishment throw at me, it will come out in the wash. I have real fear now about where we are heading as a society. Anybody who seems to counter the establishments has hell to pay. And in my shoes, what you're seeing is a continual witch hunt. And this is going to continue up until the election. But the message to the, the Welsh establishment out there is that they're not going to succeed.